Architecture is a design consultancy. What we do is develop new bespoke textures, primarily for the automotive industry, but for also other industries as well. We're essentially enablers. What we do is enable our clients to develop new bespoke textures for their particular design DNA, their brand history, etc. We have three different studios, one in Manchester in the UK, one in Fraser, Michigan near Detroit, and one in Suzhou, which is an hour from Shanghai in China. Texturing is inherently, historically, there to hide moulding problems, essentially. Textures were developed as a way of improving and adding value to the perceived quality of those components. So what we are trying to do is not only design specifically for our customers for something bespoke, but we're also trying to expand and open up the perception of possibilities. What is the art of the possible in the engraving industry? We work through a phased process with design. So phase one is usually blue sky, kind of just an open investigation of the possibility based on the customer's brief. We then submit that to the customer, they understand it, they explore it. Then they come back to us, they make a decision, they choose three, four, five of the, the kind of aesthetics that they like. We then hone that down in phase two. So we're looking at this point about defining um, the detail, changing the scale, changing some elements within it, changing the depth, et cetera, et cetera. And that's a very iterative process. It's very come and go, come and go. What it allows is for the customer, whether they're designers, engineers, procurement managers, whatever, to have one partner to hold their hand through the whole process. And when you consider the automotive industry in particular is global, we have to, as a business, be able to produce the same quality in many, many different places so that when those components come together in the assembly of the car, everything is uniform, everything is managed as well as possible relative to providing the optimised quality. We are one partner. We are the one partner solution. We can take you all the way through design, verification, into production and we can achieve that production on a global scale, not just injection moulding tools but nickel shells for soft trim and various other technologies that we're developing and have developed essentially to make the customer's experience of the process as seamless and as easy as possible. What's going on today is that we want to explain and show you the essence of the DVP process and how architecture initialises that series of events. Thinking about and looking for a surface, we needed a surface that represented the kind of automotive volume of an instrument panel say but we're not instrument panel designers. So we were looking for something that had similar scale, similar volume, but possibly an elevated curvature. Again, what was interested in was we wanted a surface only. So we started looking at various kind of inspirations. The manta, interestingly enough, is an animal that is used in a similar way to the cow on occasion as a luxury wrapping material the movement was really rather majestic. So all these things kind of came together in a mix and that's what we came up with, the manta. You know, it would have been absurd if we made a cow. The texture options for the manta fall into several categories. One is the morphic texture, the other is the parametric texture. These are, are very complicated textures, but with the Manta, we're able to take these textures and bring them to life. Parametric means that the textures are flowing. They're moving on the surface. They're sympathetic to the surface. They have a dynamism that hopefully elevates the whole interior kind of um, colour materials concept by inferring the fact that these have been very, very well thought through pieces of design. But the amorphic is incredibly important because in conversations with many, many designers, existing in the zeitgeist, as, as previously said, is this desire for these non-leather, but functional leather-like aesthetics moving forward into the future. 
when we have a final decision of every design, we didn't send to the customer as a digital format. Um, some of the people, they like to just look at like a um, cat file or just like a digital image, but we never do this because we want the customer can feel the haptic. We can let them to touch the feel, to feel the 3D, because you can't do this on the 2D image, which means JPEG, we never do this. We want to provide the um, 3D, which means they can feel, they can touch, they can engage what we are talking about. We have rapid texture prototype technology, which uses ultra high resolution 3D printing to turn what you see on the screen into a physical reality. We call it RTP for short. The RTP allows us to quickly review what we've designed to see if it meets our expectations, whether we feel it will meet the customer's expectations. If we don't believe it does, then we redesign, reprint until we're happy with the result. This creates a fast and convenient process for the customer. It cuts lead times and allows us the creative freedom to explore many different possibilities from the design perspective. I give my soul to architecture, really. I'm Manuel Antonio. I'm from Maltec, Portugal. And I'm here from the beginning of uh, this wonderful project, architecture. Here I can express uh, what uh, is in my imagination. For Standex Engraving, Moltec and Architecture, what it allows is for the customer to have one partner to hold their hand through the whole process. We can take you all the way through design, verification, into production, essentially to make the customer's experience of the process as seamless and as easy as possible. Welcome to Architecture China. I'm Ko Chen, the design manager. Normally, the elements of the arts include line, shape, form, space, value, color, and textures. In a sense, if you select uh, the texture well, you already uh, got the successful design. Ultimately, one of the ambitions about what we're doing is to speed up the whole process, get products to market faster than we've been traditionally able to do that. Verification is paramount to this whole process because this is where the customer gains the confidence to be creative. They actually see, well, in a sense, seeing is believing. You know, they actually understand what they're going to get at the end of the DVP process. It infers confidence. And I think for us, latterly, as we work project by project, that development of confidence is key to the whole evolution of architecture within the business. This is a very long-winded process for both the OEM and ourselves. That's just the natural course of events. It takes a long time to build and design a car. But the trust is inherent in the dialogue and the communication. It has to be very close. So we have to develop a relationship with the customers. And then by having that relationship and hopefully inferring confidence, it gives them flexibility, it gives them choice, and it allows their vision to become a reality. What we do is we convert the RTP, which is the 3D printing technology, the concept grain, as it moves into a target grain for production. We can then take that print, we can manipulate it, and we can print out a master. We then raise a soft silicon tool from that master, and then we can make what we call model tech skins. These are very similar to PVC skins that are utilized in the industry generally, but it's made of a completely different material and it's actually more elastic. Now the beauty of this is that we can make an unlimited number of these skins. We then apply them to the 3D geometry in question, regardless of the scale, the size. So that can be uh, a small design model that sits on a table, a complete vehicle assembly. To achieve a fit to form application, we use a proprietary technology called RenderTech that manipulates the pieces almost like a dressmaker's pattern. The geometry of the Manta is complex. It's like an instrument panel for a vehicle. It just has a lot of curvature to it, has a lot of radiuses to it, and keeping that grain 
in line to the shape of the part and the way that grain is designed to fit that part is a very challenging aspect to the graining of it. The Manta has a shape that's, you know, it's very much in motion. It's a speed form. You can tell movement while it's sitting still. Uh, transitions and, and texture, you have to be very careful about how those flow along that form. for us as Standex Engraving and then also for our customer. There's a lot that goes into developing textures for product. So what we want to do is make sure that we create something that is feasible for their application and also uh, create a consistent harmony, especially for the automotive sector. I think like for me it's really interesting to work with different type of customer because most of our customers are from the automotive industry but it can also be from the packaging industry so it's completely different like requests or different technical like problems to solve and it's really interesting to have this different type of like discussion with them for different products yes keeps the job very interesting Like Flavio told many times, we are the dreamers, but we are not only the dreamers. We put our dreams in reality. In the design step, we created a grain called, called Penta. And then during the verification step, we actually made this model that you see behind you. And what that allowed us to do is really look at the grain and see how it behaved versus, versus the actual shape and geometry from this model, where we can now make parts and make those parts in mass production. The main benefit of our overall process here is speed. In the past, in order to develop a grain, it may take six months, eight months, even a year to sometimes build these rollers to get this soft skin or this, this actual texture made. The DVP process has really expedited the, the process of building these textures. In our case, you know, we can build any tool anytime, have first shots maybe in eight or ten weeks. We have 46 plants in 23 countries. Having all the plants around the the globe is helping us to provide our customers with the solutions that they need. Now with some of our other capabilities, uh, including smart skin, laser, acid etching, we can actually morph the grain across the part. You can see the morph from kind of a deep texture uh, on the wings over to a, a shallower texture in the middle. And it's done uh, seamlessly and smoothly in a way that has never been possible before. We can design the grain fit to form so that if you want a specific scar line or specific feature, that's something that we can do because we're designing it like you would a CAD part. What we offer uh, with the, this family of, of products is a one partner solution where we can go from vision to design to verification to manufacturing, all with the same company globally. And we support you from your vision, all the way through to launching the final product and the final tooling on your production line. So we're here at the Automotive Interior Show in Stuttgart. We're exhibiting our Manta project. Manta project is something that we worked on really in the downtime that came during coronavirus. We had a bit of time to come up with a project that was really going to help our customers. What do we do about the leather look grains? We 
we're following the demands from the market, from the automotive industry, uh, for going less uh, animal textures, more in a VGen direction, to have a, a nice touch sensation, to have a, a low gloss, less layer, and uh, all these kinds of functionalities are developed in the patterns too. So what we're trying to do is show to them that we can develop a new soft trim grain, which is going to do all of the things that a leather look grain does, but in a more modern way. We have already some very good uh, feedbacks of customers. There's a quite quite a good good fair we have here, some good contacts and uh, high interest we have. There are new, some new projects uh, they want to start with us based on on that uh, infos we presented here to them. So it's, uh, I think it's amazing amazing results we have here achieved. You can see a lot of people have been working really hard throughout COVID to actually really create some real innovation. And it's been really interesting seeing on this stand here how they're tackling the challenge of what leather you know, might be in the future. At the moment there's lots going on of changes and uh, different ideas in the automotive industry. Yeah, it's very interesting what I saw also here. When you see the new grains they've developed, it's kind of, they really stand out and they, they really are effective. And maybe they have made some kind of breakthroughs towards kind of like, you know, relinquishing like the leather grain, you know, the ubiquitous leather grain. I think they've made some real strides here to create something that's really unique. Standex is very unique in this, in this business, in this application, because we can take it from the design, right from the OEM, through the tier one, all the way to production and making the final product. Really, no one else in the world has the capability to do all of those steps and to do them so quickly.